What's up guys, welcome back to another video where if I can figure it out, you certainly can figure it out. Today we are working on this, my budget WJ. 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee and we are gonna give it an audio upgrade because the CD player doesn't work. So we are going to fix that. We're gonna give it a little bit of Bluetooth capability with something not too expensive. Went down to Best Buy, spent about a hundred bucks and this is what we're doing. Simple, single din. Uh, the whole point of this video is basically to be budget friendly. So I don't have any steering wheel control so I don't need all of that stuff. Uh, but we have our wiring harness here. Of course we have our little kit. Hopefully this is going to be good enough. And then this guy there, uh, we didn't go crazy with it. I don't want to put a thousand dollar audio system in a $2,500 truck, uh, but this is what's going to be going on. We have this guy right here, some antenna adapter, some butt connectors, basic tools, but uh, yeah, here we go. So you guys are very familiar with these probably. Uh, just a factory head units, no navigation, uh, pretty simple. No USB outlets, no aux cable input, nothing. But that's okay because today is the day we're going to fix this. So follow along with the video if you want to do something like this to your Jeep WJ. And then maybe, possibly, you'll learn something new. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first up is we got to get this faceplate, this trim piece off of the vehicle. So... I unfortunately cannot find my trim removal piece, so we're going to take a flathead and just see how it goes. But that's okay for the video because this is, again, budget, and we're just going to be very careful. should come off pretty easily. Just snap off like this. See, it's already starting to come. And just be careful you don't damage anything if you're using something like this, but it's okay. I've done this before, and it should just pop free like that. That's it. So that comes off. So now you're going to be left with some exposed Phillips head screws. Hopefully you can see this. The camera will pick it up. So you got one, two, three, and four. And then this thing is just basically going to slide out. Now this should just, and it does, slide out. So that exposes everything in the back here. So we are going to have to probably splice a little bit of wires here. No big deal. It's all color-coded. Uh, pretty easy to do. And then that is our antenna right there. So we'll just unplug everything. Real quick, if you guys are new to the channel, you like this kind of stuff, please drop a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you are new. We do stuff like this from time to time. Mostly a Mustang and car channel, racing content, all of that. But this is a new project vehicle for the channel yes and I'm honestly very excited for this vehicle because as you see here it's pretty much stock yes we did some little stupid wraps back here American flag because America right but yes we're gonna transform this over the winter to become something just a little bit more fancy a little bit more off-road worthy a little bit more aggressive and I'm very excited to see how this thing is going to transform after we just do a couple simple modifications but of course this one we have to do some people might hate the comments but again the idea is budget friendly. This whole build is going to be budget friendly. Something you guys can easily replicate. Instructions, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, or don't need that. So this is what we got here. Has a CD player, hopefully will work, but this is a Pioneer, simple little $90 head unit here, single den, and should be very easy to install and look pretty factory hopefully looks like very easy installation there come on camera focus please you get the picture so we have some wiring some hardware we do have a microphone also for hands free calling there so pretty simple we might actually glance at the instructions i don't know i really want to keep this as raw as possible i know it's going to be edited and chopped up but you guys understand all right guys so now laid out in front of us we have our simple pioneer with a working cd player hopefully it will work and we'll have no issues simple hookups on the back and it costs about 80 bucks 90 bucks something like that hands free calling cable get a microphone right here hardware wires and then our harness okay so i bought two of these these are what's going to hold your radio in place once you get it back so this is your basic one you can get from best buy it's like 17 bucks and honestly it's pretty garbage this is from a whole different company look at that you even have a little storage pocket down there has support right there to screw into the side for your radio comes with tons of hardware and it is right there this is what that is it's a lot better so it's got a lot of support and it will fall apart until it's screwed in but lots of reinforcement there so i highly suggest whatever the heck this thing costs i can't even remember versus this 17 dollars one this will get you by this is better so this right here is your adapter that's going to go right into the factory when it's tucked up into there and already pretty much pre-cut but 
what we have to do is cut the other ones. Pretty simple. Uh, just take your time and then it's all color coded. So reds with reds, yellows with yellows, oranges with orange, vice versa. If you get stuck, refer to your instructions per radio and you should have no problems. So right here, I'm going to start with a green and it's got a black stripe on it. So basically, we're going to tie these together with one of our butt connectors and then crimp them down. Pretty easy, but you know, somebody out there may not know how to do this. So that is the point of this video. So we're going to twist tie both of these ends there and I want to get them both in. Make sure that we got the right ones. You could take this a step further. You could solder these things if you wanted to, but we're just going to try this. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We'll come back and fix it, but I think it'll be fine. Positive connection between the two should have no issues. You could take this a step further. You could wrap these up. You could do a lot of things. Uh, again, this is a budget build, so we're not going to worry about it. I think it will be fine. It's going to be weather resistant. It is inside of the vehicle. We should be good to go. Okay, so to mount our hands-free microphone here, this is what I'm doing. So I'm going to run right up through here. I'll figure this out and make it a little bit more of a cleaner look. Just giving myself some slack. I'm going down the A-pillar here, and then I'm going to take this wire, run it through the dash. So I am taking some of this stuff apart. Got four screws, and then you have this piece for the Jeep that just literally pops out because we want to be able to connect the end of this to the radio so that we can utilize this microphone. These kits come with a ton of wire, so just take your time, run them however you so choose. And uh, I just like clean factory looking stuff. Stuff. So this is what we're doing. We're just taking a couple extra minutes and figuring this out and then it'll look factory by the end of this. It'll look good. Okay, here we go. Everything is wired up. We have all of this routed behind the dash for our hands-free calling. This is a pretty clean job. I'm pretty proud of it. But what I recommend doing is plugging all of this stuff up without mounting it completely in the vehicle. Make sure everything works so that you don't have to rip it apart and do it again. But that's what we're going to test right now. We have power. So this is pretty cool. We have a Pioneer app that I can download. But I am curious just to see how this sounds. Resident Evil soundtrack. Why not? So very cool. Very impressed already. But we're still not done with our installation. We have to put all that stuff back together with our new kit, which is, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, there it is. The top of my race car tires. Here we go. So this is the one that, uh, again, we're going to use. And it's cool because it's going to sit in there. And from the side, we can run a screw through that, which you can see right there by my finger. And that way it will be secure. And then once it all goes back together, we get to use our trim piece again. It's going to look like a factory install. But just uh, initially hearing that, it makes me immediately want Want to upgrade all of the rest of the speakers it sounds honestly fantastic i love it but uh you know this is just the, the start big thumbs up so far but let's continue the installation come back for a final review well there she is all back together final step is the trim look at this look how it's going to just pop together and look factory so come on clip in there we have to be aggressive with it that is sharp looking Looks very factory. It's in there very secure. Little wiggle room. Not a big deal. It's definitely not going to go in and out. Uh, very solid. I love the fact that we have this little storage compartment down here. It just means that they have used this space wisely. You know, why not put something there? It's pretty cool. You could put a CD or something down there uh, in its case. I don't know if it'll fit a cell phone. Uh, you might slide it in there and never get it back, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. So there we go. It does look very factory. It looks kind of OEM. Um, I love it. I think it's uh, it's very, very smart looking uh, inside of this Jeep. Certainly a much better looking unit than something like this. Uh, a little bit more modern. And now we have a working CD player and we have a Bluetooth functionality. So we're bringing this 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee into the modern day. But there we go, guys. That is the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it somewhat informative or fun. But, I mean, it's a single den. It's really not that complicated. But if you've never done it before, now you can follow this video and hopefully get something out of it. So, other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Have a good day. And until the next video, I'll see you later.